Hey guys, it's Obsessed RC here. I just wanted to make a part two just because I wanted to show what the wheels look like off the vehicle. Just you couldn't really tell the different offsets before and I got them cleaned up. I didn't notice how dirty they were. I took my car on this AstroTurf field and it got filthy. So it had green all over. Um, I used this mean green to get the stuff off. It came all off except for a little bit. Um, I was just being lazy, but I mean the whole wheels were coated like that in that video, but and it was slick. This stuff makes these get their grip back so much. You can see how shiny that looks. It just takes it to make them almost real sticky. So they'll grip real good, but I just wanted to show what they look like off the vehicle just in case you're looking you wanted to buy one you didn't know which one you want to buy the only thing is this is the new style of wheel that's the old style of wheel you can still get these so they're not discontinued so it's not pointless making this video they're the same price they're fifty dollars a set versus fifty dollars a set these have came down in price these terrain crushers used to be more expensive for the colored ones I think it's still like 120, 130 bucks, but these black ones used to be pretty expensive. So what I wanted to show you is the differences in the tread. The two styles, regardless of what rim is on them, the two styles to choose from are the sweeps road crushers or the sweeps terrain crushers. Now these are both fairly new, both in good shape. So uh these are what the road crushers would look like you know like i said they're great for on road they will work in the grass but on the track or anything like that they're gonna be absolutely garbage these i mean they're not as good as some other off-road tires like the mx 38s or the badlands or the trenchers but if you don't want them to balloon and you want to go fast, I mean, that's who doesn't want to go fast. Cars become uncontrollable once they get above 50 miles per hour when it balloons. They're like super dangerous. You don't want to smash into some old lady and break her leg or something. This gives you a lot more control. Either one of these. Now, if you're talking about just on the street and you just want to stay on the street uh, you could go with this one, but I'm gonna make another video comparing the performance of each one and Just show you how they take some corners how they do an acceleration just some stuff like that But I almost think that I like these better on the concrete Maybe because it's a little why I don't know this has a bigger contact patch but these are just super controllable on the on the cement and so, like I said, you can get each tread pattern, train crushers, road crushers. I believe they're the exact same price right now. They used to be different. But if you want this style of wheel, they are still available. Um, the only reason that I could see maybe you wouldn't buy just this one is because the offset's different. Uh, you can see on the front. Look how much more down it goes. I want to say it's like... 10 millimeter offset or something but check it out when you turn it over that goes all the way down yeah i mean it doesn't look like a lot of visible difference i don't know i think it's probably the difference of 10 millimeters i don't know i'm really bad with numbers i wish i had the ad up there for reference basically i'm just making this to show you the visible differences between the two i found these these were the first ones i found i loved them i actually just got this pair today but as the company sweeps when i got my crate in 6s i thought it was so cool then i floored it and the tires just ballooned so bad we all know what ballooning is i have some examples of how bad they were on the stock wheels i've got some videos on there but like i said I wanted to make this. I showed you what they look like on the car. This is what they look like off the car. I said it a thousand times. I would get these ones. Because 
yeah, maybe these if you're going to strictly be doing speed runs and on-road stuff. But these are both. I mean, it's like the best of both worlds. It's like you see those Nitto tires that are low profile on those badass lifted trucks. But they also have the off-road tread on them. I mean, they're like a dual sport thing. So for me, the money is there. But anyways, just wanted to show you what they look like off the vehicle. Uh, the weight. Um, I do have a scale. Let me see if, uh, I don't, I don't have a scale that's going to be precise enough. I would say maybe these are a little bit heavier. I don't know how much, but these are not a super heavy wheel. Uh, if you can see, I've got these hoons right here. Uh, these hoons and these are about the same weight so they're not super heavy also i've got these 2.8 trenchers on there these are a heavy tire so a lot of people are always thinking oh man i don't want to get those because they're too heavy they're really not super heavy you don't have to worry about water getting in them you don't have to worry about foams like i just submerge these in water giving them a squeeze nothing's coming out the foams aren't going to break on you and they last a long time now i will say i just sold a red pair of them not too long ago and i noticed that they will start to come unglued but those were super old and you got to glue them back down but i mean i would say these are guaranteed to last a year like they take hell as long as you're not doing some major jumps I really would recommend these over anything. I could not see why you would not get this size of a wheel and not get it belted. There's no no reason. I mean, a lot of guys like to go off dirt and they sew fishing line in there. They sew all this Teflon or whatever they sew. They're just trying to do what this wheel does. Like venting your tires, I get that, but... Ultimately, all you're doing is working for what this does, and it looks badass. So, anyways, that's my two cents. I'm going to cut this one short. Actually, I've been talking for like 10 minutes. What am I talking about? Anyways, I make stuff like this all the time. Feel free to add me if you want to see the different stuff with RC, I do. I'm going to try to start reviewing a lot more products, like I said, for a while, I was just getting all kinds of new cars and new stuff and was too lazy to make videos. So if you're into this kind of stuff, go ahead and follow me. If not, it's okay. Thank you.